The purpose of the National Stop the Bleed campaign is to make communities more resilient by better preparing the public to save lives if people nearby are experiencing life-threatening bleeding. This includes training the public in basic bleeding control techniques. Before you offer any help, you must ensure your own safety. If you become injured, you will not be able to help the victim. Provide care to the injured person if the scene is safe for you to do so. If at any time your safety is threatened, attempt to remove yourself and the victim, if possible, from danger and find a safe location. Call 911 to get the medical first responders en route. Protect yourself from bloodborne infections by wearing gloves, only if they're readily available. Quickly determine what tools you have to help the victim. There is a good chance you will not have immediate access to a bleeding control kit and or tourniquet and will need to apply direct pressure. Applying direct pressure and wound packing are very effective ways to stop life-threatening bleeding. Direct pressure and packing can be applied to wounds on arms and legs, the torso junctional area, including shoulder, armpits, groin, and neck. However, direct pressure and packing cannot properly address life-threatening bleeding in the chest or abdomen. Someone with these injuries needs quick access to trauma care. You should apply direct pressure and pack a wound when 1. The person is experiencing life-threatening bleeding. Signs of life-threatening bleeding include blood pooling on the ground, spurting or pouring from a wound, a loss of a limb, the injured person is becoming dizzy or unconscious. 2. You do not have access to a bleeding control kit or tourniquet. 3. For life-threatening bleeding from the neck, shoulder, or groin. Always find the source of bleeding first before applying pressure or packing. Look for and identify life-threatening bleeding. Open or remove clothing over the wound to see the wound clearly. Apply direct pressure to the wound by covering the wound with clean cloth or gauze. If no gauze is readily available, a clean t-shirt, socks, sheet, sweatshirt, etc. will work. Apply steady and continuous pressure with both hands directly on top of the bleeding wound and press down as hard as you can. Do not lift your hands. Hold pressure until relieved by medical responders. To pack a wound, use clean gauze or cloth or whatever material you have available. Begin packing the gauze into the wound with your finger while simultaneously maintaining pressure on the wound. It is critical that the gauze be packed as deeply into the wound as possible, filling the space completely with the material. Then apply steady pressure with both hands directly on top of the bleeding wound and push down as hard as you can. Continue holding steady pressure until relieved by medical responders. It is very important to keep pressure on until help arrives. Do not peek to see if the person is still bleeding or remove pressure until medical responders arrive and take over. Please watch the additional videos in the Stop the Bleed series. For more information on the Stop the Bleed campaign, please visit StopTheBleed.org. Follow OEM on Twitter and Facebook to stay up to date on class offerings.